Hello and welcome to another episode of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is ozone depletion. First of all, we will discuss what is ozone depletion. Ozone depleting substances, stratospheric clouds effects, Antarctica ozone hole, effects of ozone depletion, measures taken and way forward. First of all, let's discuss what is ozone depletion. The Earth's atmosphere is composed of several layers. Most atmospheric ozone is concentrated in a layer in the stratosphere about 15 to 30 km above the Earth's surface. Ozone depletion refers to the thinning of the ozone layer in the Earth's atmosphere. Ozone shields the planet from harmful ultraviolet that is UV radiation. Ozone depletion is primarily caused by human-made chemicals that release chlorine and bromine atoms into the atmosphere. These atoms react with ozone, breaking it down and causing a reduction in its concentration. The main sources of ozone depleting chemicals are human-made products such as refrigerants, air conditioners, solvents and foam insulation. Now let's discuss about ozone depleting substances. First is chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs. CFCs are widely used in refrigeration and air conditioning as well as in the production of solvents, aerosol sprays and foam insulation. They are the most significant contributor to ozone depletion. CFCs have been phased out under the Montreal Protocol but some uses are still allowed for certain industries. Nitrogen oxides. Sources of nitrogen oxides are mainly explosions of thermonuclear weapons, industrial emissions, etc. Nitric oxide catalytically destroys ozone. Hydrochlorofluorocarbons or HCFCs. HCFCs were developed as a replacement for CFCs and are less damaging to the ozone layer. However, they still contribute to ozone depletion and are being phased out under the Montreal Protocol. Halons. Halons are used in fire suppression systems and are also used in some industrial processes. They are very effective at putting out fires but are also very damaging to the ozone layer. Methyl bromide. Methyl bromide is mainly used as a fumigant to control pests in agriculture and other industries. Carbon tetrachloride. Carbon tetrachloride was once used in a variety of industrial applications including as a refrigerant and as a solvent. It has been phased out under the Montreal Protocol. Now let's discuss about stratospheric clouds effects. Polar stratospheric clouds or PSCs play important roles in stratospheric ozone depletion during winter and spring at high latitudes. The chlorine released by the breakdown of CFCs exists initially as pure chlorine or as chlorine monoxide, active chlorine. These two forms react further to form compounds chlorine nitrate and HCl that are stable in active chlorine. Polar stratospheric clouds or PSCs particles provide a surface which converts benign forms of chlorine into reactive ozone destroying forms. PSCs also prolong ozone depletion by delaying chlorine deactivation through the removal of gas phase HNO3 and H2O. Observations have provided an unprecedented polar vortex-wide climatological view of PSC occurrence in both hemispheres. Antarctica Ozone Hole The Antarctic Ozone Hole is an area of severely depleted ozone in the stratosphere that forms over Antarctica around September to November. The depletion of ozone is primarily caused by human-made chemicals which were used in refrigeration, air conditioning and aerosol sprays. These elements rise to the stratosphere and break down, releasing chlorine atoms that destroy ozone molecules. The Antarctic zone hole was first discovered in the mid-1980s by scientists who noticed a significant decline in the amount of ozone. The size of the ozone hole varies from year to year. It depends on factors such as temperature, wind patterns and the amount of CFCs in the atmosphere. Now moving on to effects of ozone depletion. The effects of ozone depletion are widespread and can have significant impacts on both humans and the environment. The most obvious effect is an increase in UV radiation on the Earth's surface. This can lead to increased cases of skin cancer, cataracts and other health problems. It can also cause damage to crops and reduce the productivity of certain plants. In addition to these health and agricultural effects, Ozone depletion can also have negative effects on marine life. UV radiation can penetrate the surface of the ocean and damage phytoplankton which are the base of the ocean food chain. 
This can have a ripple effect on other species in the ocean including fish, whales and other marine mammals. Ozone depletion can also contribute to climate change. Many of the chemicals that cause ozone depletion such as HFCs are also greenhouse gases. When they are released into the atmosphere, they can contribute to the warming of the planet. Now let's discuss about the measures taken. The Montreal Protocol, an international treaty signed in 1987, is the most significant global effort to reduce the production and consumption of ozone-depleting substances. Since its implementation, the ozone layer is projected to recover by mid-century. As a result of the Montreal Protocol, the production and consumption of CFCs have been phased out in most countries. This has led to a decrease in the amount of CFCs in the atmosphere, which has helped to reduce ozone depletion. Many industries have switched to using alternative chemicals that do not deplete the ozone layer, such as hydrofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons. While these chemicals are still greenhouse gases, they have a much lower impact on the ozone layer than CFCs. Overall, these measures have been successful in reducing ozone depletion and protecting the ozone layer. India has been actively involved in the protection of the ozone layer since the 1990s as a signatory to the Montreal Protocol. Now lastly, moving on to the way forward. Despite the progress made through the Montreal Protocol, there are still significant challenges to achieving a full recovery of the ozone layer. For example, HFCs which were introduced as replacements for ozone-depleting substances are potent greenhouse gases. However, continued efforts are needed to ensure that the ozone layer continues to recover and that new ozone-depleting substances are not introduced into the environment. Governments, NGOs and other organizations should launch public awareness campaigns to educate people about the dangers of ozone depletion. Now moving on to practice questions. First of all, prelims question that was asked in 2011 exam also. The formation of ozone hole in the Antarctic region has been a cause of concern. What would be the reason for the formation of this hole? Presence of prominent tropospheric turbulence and inflow of chlorofluorocarbon. Presence of prominent polar front and stratospheric clouds and inflow of chlorofluorocarbons. Absence of polar front and stratospheric clouds and inflow of methane and chlorofluorocarbons or increased temperature at polar region due to global warming. And now mains question. The Montreal Protocol has been successful in controlling ozone depleting substances. However, can it be said ozone layer depletion is a solved problem? Discuss. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.